hi everyone, I'm Art Devisher. I'm a designer and a maker and I'm based in London in the UK. Um, I design books and I illustrate mostly food. And today I'm going to show you how I frame artwork, both mine as well as artwork that I get from other people and that I put in my home or which I gift to friends and family. Um, today I've got this frame here which is a custom frame that I got done from a framer locally and I got them to put in the back bits so that I can undo them and change my artwork whenever I want it because I frequently um, change my artwork to suit the season or to suit my taste or if I want to change the colours. So my house is mostly grey and white and I change up the colour and the feel of it by changing the artwork or changing the cushion covers. Um, and that's how I put a little bit of colour into my into my surroundings or through plants as you can see behind me. So let's get started with showing you what I'm going to put into this frame and then um, I'll show you the different kinds of framing that you can do. So this is an 8x10 frame but the print that I've currently got in it is actually an original artwork. Um, it is painted on khaki paper in watercolours and pen. And um, I did this quite a while ago, but I'm going to change it out now. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to open up these pins. For this, I use a letter opener. Now you can do it with your fingers, but it can hurt quite a bit. So I don't want to recommend something that is going to be quite painful. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to prop open these one by one. I can show you how I'm doing it if you like. Just put it underneath and pop it open and then with your fingers you can pop it open like that. And then this doesn't have any hanging support at the back because I just use, um, I just prop it against on a table against the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingers to push out this and maybe I might need to push these out a little bit more so that it doesn't stick. Pop that out and there you have the empty glass frame and the backing to which I've actually stuck my artwork. Now, the things that you can use to stick artwork onto a frame are multiple things. Um, you can use scotch tape. So if you take a piece of scotch tape, let's this, let's this. Um, take that tape and roll it over like that. And then you can put that onto the back of an artwork and stick it down. The thing that I like to use mostly is blue tack. So you can take out a bit from it and stick it on the back and it comes off without any damage. That's the main thing. Then there are um, adhesive supports. It's called better tapes. So for, this is mostly for original artwork. So if you look here, it just fits, slots into the top of that like this. You can see this tape, so it's a different sort of framing. You might want to put a mat in front of it to hide the tape behind it, but this um, works really well to protect actual artwork. So can you see here? That's how it works. So you can barely see this tape, and this tape can usually be hidden behind a mount. But that's not the way that I like to frame things. I like to frame things where you can see the edge, so I use things called photo mounts. They are just little sticky things. They come like this and then you peel off the blue bit and that's how they turn out. And the other thing I like to use are glue dots. These are tiny little dots. You can actually barely see them in here. Let me see if I do this. So again, these are kind of like blue tack, but they don't come off as cleanly as blue tack does. And you can also use washi tape. I mean, you can use decorative washi tape to go over the corners and, and put it up. And you can also use um, plain washi tape if you prefer. So this one, what I've done is I've got the plain backing board. And then I've put a colored paper, which kind of matches the color of the print, of the artwork in this case. And I've just stuck that onto each layer. And because it's framed under glass, it stays pretty much um, flat. 
it doesn't flap up. So I'm going to just remove this. And as you can see behind, I've just used a little bit of washi tape to secure it. So now, because it's washi tape, it comes off without leaving any residue at all. So that, now that that's off, this is a really nice piece of paper. And even though it's got the artwork on this side, I might at some point want to change it back to this artwork later in the year, maybe in spring, because it's a nice green spring kind of feel to it. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to leave this artwork on, which is, as you can see, stuck with tape. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to turn it over. Um, and then because this artwork is still in the middle, I'm going to use some blue tack. I'm going to use the blue tack on the four corners so that it doesn't mess up the artwork, but I can still stick the green paper to the board. So a little bit of blue tack, just that much, in the four corners, like so. And then turn it over and look at the middle of the board, approximate. You can measure if you like, but I don't really mind if my if my artwork is slightly off center. And I'm just pressing down the edges like so. And then you can see that it's pretty secure. It's not going to fall off or anything. So that is my back. Now today I'm going to put in one of my mini prints. These are the tomato pickle prints, tomato pickle prints and I'm going to just put them, put it on the on the green because it does have a little bit of green in there and it's a little bit festive, so green and red. I'm going to put that in the middle. That's how I'm going to frame it. So once again, I'm going to use blue tack because as I said, it comes off really easily and it's the easiest way to do it. Again, just rub it between your fingers a little, just that much. I'm just going to do a top and a bottom on this. Too much. Top and bottom like that. And then center it. And press down. And there's my framed print. Now I'm going to put it back in the frame neatly like that it down and then push down all the tabs and there is my framed artwork ready to go now I like to frame my artwork like this because it creates a little bit of interest and also that it means that I can put any size of artwork into any size of frame so if you look at this one I have a long frame and I've got an artwork in the middle of it but what I've used is this is actually the back of this frame and what actually came in inside this frame was this and I'm not interested in putting my artwork like that so I just got rid of that but because the frame was pretty deep I had to put the backing back in the, the mount back in in order for the clips to close so it's actually this backing frame that the print is stuck onto and it looks really good because it gives it a really nice dark background. So these, so that's the original of this print. And you can obviously crop it off and put it in any, any long frame. So technically, any frame that is larger than the size of your print is just fine. It doesn't have to be an exact size. It doesn't have to be exact measurements. It doesn't have to be the exact ratio. So there's this one. And then there's this one which is Lemon Cooler and Chef's Harbour, which are both elongated prints that could be framed like that. Then there are little prints. So here is another way to frame the smaller prints. Just like this, just like this one. This one is done on just plain gray, just on a plain gray paper. So there's that, that's the copy print. Um, and then I have an original here and it's print. Let me just show you that. So there's this, which is the original drawing. You can see it's got deckled edges and it's done on khaki paper. And here's the print, again framed on that light grey 
background, as you can see there. These are IKEA frames, the ribeyes, think they're called. And that way, that you can frame any A4 size print. Any of these would go in that. And then I have my 2021 calendar, which has A4 size pieces in it, which you can actually, after the year is over, cut out and frame as you wish. And the other thing that you can do is frame in a box frame, like this one. And this is a deep frame. So you can you see here how it's kind of deep frame and the paper kind of sticks up a little bit. And that's a really nice way to do things that are really big and bold. And you can even have a bigger frame so you have more distance here. So it's a really giant frame and you, can, you, you just use one piece of artwork to put up on your wall and it just looks amazing. Right? And for this one you can use any, and then there's this one as well, which is a gold frame instead. And for these, you can use any of these. These are 30 by 40 or 83 size prints. They're all kitchen charts, and then this one is a pink pomegranate, obviously. The other thing that you can do is use a frame like that to frame a square print because I don't have any square frames in the house, oddly enough, and um, I would just put it in this frame. Let me show you. So if I, if I look back, it's got the same clips that you can take off. And I would do it like this. I would just take this frame, if you can ignore that, and I would turn it on its side, like so, and I would just put that print right in the middle and maybe have extra space on either side, right? Or you could even do it this way and have it slight in the middle or slightly to the top and have more space at the bottom and you could just write something down there if you wanted. So those are some ways to frame art. There's that one and there's also something like this you can put in. It makes it makes a really nice frame in a, in a rectangular frame. So for example, you don't have to rearrange your entire house to fit a square frame. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. That's how I frame my artwork. And then this one is going to go on the wall, well, on the, on the table, and then this one goes on the wall above it. So they are a pair of prints, but what I'm going to do is, I, what I've done is frame them differently so that they, they match each other, but they don't match each other, if you know what I mean. It's not a frame, it's a different mat. Um, I think it just looks really nice that way. So the other thing that I do is, I frame, if I can't afford the artwork of an artist that I like, I will generally buy a card or buy a small print. And then you can frame these as well because they are artwork as well. So they are actually Christmas cards. So they are festive. So, and you can put them in any frame. And this one as well. Five by seven. See, look how nice that looks with framed like that. Yeah. So, and then there's a whole bunch of them, little ones that you can put in. And many artists sell small prints like this that you could put in. And also, if you're short on wall space, this is a good idea to kind of change out your artwork every now and then. So you can buy as many prints as you like. But even if you don't have the space to display all of them, you can put them up turn by turn, by season by season, or if you if you are feeling in a certain mood, you can put that print up. You know what I mean? So it's, it's really fun to change your artwork around. And even if you're a renter, if you look at this frame, if you look at the back, I've got um, command strips stuck on it. So these are easily removable and you don't put, need to put nails in your wall. Even as a renter, you can put up art and have your, uh, your room and your house looking nice. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. Um, tell me in the comments down below what you thought, how you frame your art and um, let's have a chat. Thanks for watching.